In Fast and Furious 5, Dom and Hobbs were fighting. Hobbs had Dom in a rear neck choke, and then he could see Mia, and that gave him the motivation to fight to get out you know, that rear neck choke. So whether you're in a self-defense situation or not, you know, always, you know, imagine your living relatives, your loved ones are always there in front of you. And then, you know, you've got to fight them whether it's self-defense or not. Because everyone is going to be in dark places in life. Everyone, there's no avoiding it. But then what you got to try and do is never get to that point where, you know, um, you just feel, you know, where you want to give up. You can feel like giving up and don't ever want to give up if that makes sense what i mean by that is don't start thinking oh, i'm gonna give up and then if you start thinking that or even a second then you have given up you can't think that not for one second it is possible scientifically not to do that feeling and thinking are two different things you can think something and feel something different that's part of meditation training so anyway dom got out of the rear neck choke when he saw mia and as they're fighting you know um mia said Dom, she was trying to, you know, get him to calm down. And then Hobbs said, stand back, I got this. And then, you know, um, Vince said, pull off. And then Mia kept saying, Dom, please stop, Dom. And then as Dom picked up a weapon, he was about to smash Hobbs' head with it. But then he stopped himself when Mia said, Dom. So, you know... What I want to talk about is this. Mia and Vince were right, you know, to, you know, tell Dom to stop. Because, you know, they both were getting emotional at each other. And, you know, and then they both became friends and their own family. So, you know, it's important to stop when people tell you to. But sometimes you don't. But eventually, if you come around, then it can work out even if you have a really violent fight. Sometimes two people can become really close after that. As strange as that sounds. You know, you just gotta move on and not feel awkward about it. It can feel awkward at first, but then, you know, after that, you just move on. You always remember it, but it's fine after. But, you know, what I'm trying to talk about is this now. You know, when I, you know, go viral one day, when I'm trained by my future coach, Joe Sill Cummings, in Birmingham, UK, you know, um, in MMA, you know, there might be people, you know, speaking just like me. You know, stop, etc. But the thing is, I've said this on my gaming motivational speaking videos. If a celebrity, you know, challenges me to a, you know, YouTube fight or a professional fight, not that I'm interested in celebrity fights, um, you know, and they start me outside, I'll have bodyguards, of course. But what I'm saying is, I won't hesitate to pull their eyeballs out. And if the government police don't want that, then they need to speak about this topic where sometimes professional fighters fight outside. One, I'm a small person, and even if I wasn't, and I was a really big person like Hobbs, then the thing is, um, why should I, you know, give up people the, the idea that, you know, I'm going to be soft and then other people can just take advantage, just like, you know, some women hit men again and again because hardly any men just gives a, a big lamp in the face, big kick in the face. So, you know, what I'm saying is, no matter how much, you know, my loved ones, even if I was with someone, you know, and my future girlfriend said to me, stop like Mia did, I, I'm not stopping, I'm going to be a brutal that way, because no one, especially a professional trained person, has the right to stop me, I don't want that happening, but you know, I just believe it's going to happen, unfortunately, because you know, some celebrities are just really fucking childish, you know, think they're gangsters or whatever, but if they went through what I went through, most of them wouldn't be able to keep their sanity, and I've talked about what I've been through in my gaming motivational speaking videos those of you that don't know but anyway we'll see who's talk when the time comes if that does come but you know government and police we better do something about it and this is self-defense this is not you know a threat this is just me defending myself because if you've been paying attention to my videos then as i said you know exactly what i'm talking about there's nothing illegal about what i'm saying